I'm from Rumble, as I told you earlier. And uh, I'm a construction manager earlier. And uh, I'm working with BDC, virtual design and construction, PIMS, and uh, it's L'Oreal as well. Not so much, but uh, pretty 45D modeling is my, is my title. So I'm talking about the um, city engine, usable city engine uh, inside construction management. So, uh, how to use the city engine in my purpose. And I want some target out of it um, when I'm using the program. Um, on behalf of this VDC uh, team, me and another person who is called Joachim, we implemented some, some tools for our department. Um, and those tools have the purpose of doing construction on, on a way it's buildable. So we're not doing some drawings at all, uh, which we all have to do, and we have to follow some regulations to make the building and the models. But we have to use them, utilize the models properly. So that's how this VDC team was established in construction management, and uh, and city engine was a part of it actually. And this is how it's functioning. As you can see, uh, we do some models uh, in 3D, uh, and um, and then there are some there are some descriptions. Uh, it's written in Danish. Uh, but but um, the descriptions are the things we have to follow uh, to build this uh, models and, and building as well. And then we have a time frame. So these are the basic things. And then as a VC team, we do uh, 3D models, 4D models, and merge them together uh, with the time schedule and the economy. And um, that's all that we have so far. But on top of this, Cherry on the ice cream is the ice cream, the city engine, where we take the surface and put, put our models on the surface. So we get the real picture of what's going on. It's not for the visuality only, but it's only also for the um, to have to have a look at is it possible to make this construction correctly? Is it is it, is it possible to do to it to do it? Uh, everything we can we can draw everything, but but it's, it's not possible to build everything uh, with, with the drawings. There are always changes. Uh, the wall starts always on the on the side, so we tie of it. So that's why we use this uh, surface models, <coughs> the strains, uh, the curves, uh, everything is used uh, from city engine. Awesome. Um, where we take the, the, the terrain level and, and see, okay, how is it more possible to get through? And and then we in city engine is also possible to show us the roads if it's in the uh, town area where it's it's heavy traffic. Uh, there are a lot of lights uh, signals. How is it possible to get these low rates big uh, elements? Uh, we do these constructions in Denver. How to how to make construction with this in this uh, what's called traffic area. And so this is how we do it. And safety on site, <coughs> like in as I told you, heavy traffic area is our uh peaking uh, uh bit of the uh, what's called point of topics. Um, and then of course visualization is a part of this one. Um, where we get a better overview and the surrounding of the town. And the project context, collaboration between the visualization and the reality, as I told you, where we, we see something and we build it what we see. So, built before built, actually, is our uh, slogan. Yeah. Uh, then we use the engine and the 3D, 4D, 5D as well uh, for the communication between the uh, projecting phase. From the beginning phase, as, it, as I showed you earlier, to the construction phase. On the side, and um, yeah, and some of the things are here where we use this uh, engine product for to remove the soil. We take it here, and we go in this way. We're not going this way because there's a traffic jam or or it's a one way road or anything. And we can put signals up here uh, where we say this is the way you have to come. We can uh, view our city engine model to. 
suppliers uh, of big uh, elements and, and distributors of uh, products, they can have a look at okay, which way I have to take. So it's easier for everyone actually. For the payment, uh, payment, uh, we will have to make the roads and, and, and the pathway, uh, which way they have to, and uh, when they dig out the, the soils and uh, remove them to from one place to another place, H B, H C, or A to Z is can be calculated in in our model. Okay. Yeah. So this is how we use the Indianos one. <laughs> and um, we have a, a thing here where uh, we have we do models in 3D, okay, and then uh, we we have a look at transparent and complex bodies because we do 3D models in uh, in yeah, in many programs, uh, but, but the models are, are starting at some point, the workspaces, but we only see the, the, the models itself. <coughs> we don't see the outer context. And it's very important to see that as well when you have to solve all the problems when you build it. So, so the outer context is very, very, very important. Um, so the surrounding context enriches the data, this data, this data. Really important for us. Uh, Brazilian thing help us quite a lot. And okay, you can see uh, we are researching with some different programs as well. So for computers are there for engineers as well. Um, we we, uh, we we have used the most Google Cloud Data and of course Selenium. Thanks, Okay, you see. The surrounding area is, is possible to see uh, how, how it's working. Uh, and when we put, when we make the three D models and, and put the building on, on the other side, or can be the bricks as well, um, then you have a surrounding area, and, and you can have a look at uh, how to use it. Uh, and, and yeah, where the where the sun is coming and where the traffic are, when is it heavy traffic, when is the very populated uh, area is, is available to see. So, and uh, here are some plots of situation plans we do in 3D. So we see the situation and then we apply them when it's feasible. Uh, here as well, we do we do uh, as I told you earlier uh, construction management. So, so, so it's, it's very important that it's possible that we don't stuck into any problems on site. Because then it's going to get delayed, and the site is very important, and the surface is very important. Here you can see the surface is, is going on and up. Uh, there is, there's a slope, and you have to know it. If, if you have a 2D plan, it's not possible to see uh, when you build it. <coughs> so that's really, really important. The colors are really bad. Uh, I don't know why, but yeah, I'm sorry. Um, <coughs> We do uh, import in, in, inside the new we can import this FX files, so different kind of files actually, uh, or onto, onto the side. So we, took the, we take the model, but we have the surface from the and we take the models, the, the real 3D models from the architects, we get it for free, and then we have some building components. We enrich the, the, the surface with, and then we have the entire, and then we can make the simulation or whatever, uh, depending on uh, what the client needs. Yeah. Here you see the more detailed uh, train of the uh, We have researched a little bit uh, how to use the visualization. Okay. Um, and this is a city called Hesina, not part of Sri Sila. Um, actually, one of our big um, cities, uh, theoretically. Uh, where we can, uh, where we use some special things, uh, which catch the the client actually. Um, so, and then, and it's all about collaboration actually. Uh, and the data we have, and the data you have uh, from CD Engine, uh, merge them together, let them work together, the collaboration, and then um, where it's possible to target some. Very detailed codes. This is school in Minden, uh, which is a school building extension of a new construction 
and we won it on, on, a, uh, on a wedding board, so uh, feelings. It's a, it's a lot of work we won. Well, let's take it later. Um, and then we have a virtual solution lab in in uh, in Rambo where we have a big screen. I think it's from this column to this. Oh, I get it. You can see here. Um, where we have this big touch screen, and um, that is possible to um, play uh, your, your, your models uh, inside there uh, and touch it. You have you can stay on. You can stay on, on the room, and at the same time, uh, you can stay somewhere else in the world because the thing is on, online, so we run everything online. So a lot of people can sit in there, run some living room. I think it's much more comfortable for people. But then you have your own computer sitting somewhere in the train or abroad. You have the same one. And this moving there, it's moving as well on here because it's the same platform. So it's, you run live on the same side. So. When you have a model and you change it there because there are some changes that need to be done, then you you can have your opinion freely. You don't have to wait uh, for anything. So that's really useful. And um, yeah, uh, and then you have virtual uh, reality Oculus uh, Rift where you can have a look at the screen uh, visualities um, where we use this. Glasses, uh, VR glasses, uh, where you can see uh, the, the surrounding area, the building, walk inside, fly inside, uh, and drive inside uh, all these areas. It's really, it's really fine and, and useful. Uh, and then terrain is, is really important for us, of course, uh, as I told you. So, and then uh, it has to, what is called, you cannot just create anything. Merge together, so there are a business it's how to move on these features because we are. You have to use the data, and you can actually take a lot of data from here and then put the codes inside. If you have, we have some nerds inside, you can do the real thing and then get the things out. It's, it's really useful. In the construction field, where you can take, as I told you earlier, take the payment out uh, or the solid or, or anything where if you want to build a, a road or a pathway or some type of timber, you can do it very quickly uh, because the data is already given and you can just draw them and utilize them. Everyone can use this, and uh, this is how the construction is going to be. In the digital world, so yeah, yeah, and uh, then I don't think my brother has to listen to me that much more. So we're heading towards the VDC, uh, Visit Engine, actually. Um, they um, they have us a lot, uh, introducing, uh, coming to our departments and, and introduce um, the, the Visit Engine program, and it's, it's very helpful, um, it's, it's useful, uh, we use it. And uh, there are some changes we have to do also. Uh, so. And I would like to say we have not had any problem case uh, that contain all the connections on around RC, which means uh, we haven't, we have theoretically, we run a project or several projects, there are some other projects as well uh, called Elabu. Uh, we also won. But we haven't used it properly uh, on the site because we. With these projects, we haven't taken on, uh, on the side and utilized these things. So, so there might be coming some feedback that we would like to share with you, sure, uh, surely. Uh, so you have an idea of how, to, uh, how good it is or how some things. There might be always positives or negatives in, in, in anything. So I'd like to know a lot and uh, we would like to share it. And uh, we remain focused on ensuring that our models are reliable. So, so it's and you tender it out, prepare it out, and it's possible to build it, and uh, it's not just a model. So, this is my presentation. I hope everyone's interested. Any questions? What are the current 
criteria that people think or what are the where is the cut between where people decide where to use construction management and where not? Do you see that are there some rules? Or there are some rules, uh, like the, 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 the client show of course is the one who decides the uh, uh, what's called the, yeah. The client has to decide whether it should be built or not, uh, and the client has the money. It says you are the one who won the project in the projection part, and then you have to run the project on the construction management part, and then and I'm getting until I'm getting the keys. So the client is uh, actually the, the one who who decides the construction management. But, but for reasons for for the maybe I have to reformulate for the client are there is, do you think there are specific like criteria where uh, construction management actually where the client can say you know it's like in the safe, safety hazards or just in general because the yeah. protect the investment or yeah um, the, 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 the client always have a, a responsibility in any cases it means the construction management helps, of course, only the, 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 the client to build this construction. And in safety purpose, we will assure, the construction management will assure the client that it can be done. So it's basically like, a, like a, an additional insurance. It's not an additional, it's not only an additional insurance, but uh, we will visualize uh, a way uh, nowadays we have to visualize anyway on 2D, they do it on, on, on 2D models, for, for instance, 2D plans, where you show, okay, here are the ways where the kids can walk, or here are the ways that the peer covenants walk, and about the neighbors, and here the trains can stand. But but we are, are, are zooming a little bit out and, and look at it at, in, in, a, in a 3D way, so, so the clients have a better idea of, okay, uh, we have a, a surface, we have a, a visualization, we, we, we can see, okay, where the different people are, are divided up into, and then on top of it, the client can see the time schedule so at the same time. So, so the, 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 the visualization plus the, the timing is, is really important for the client uh, to see, first of all, the safety, and the second, the money, Spent and when it and what the process is. So, yeah, we, uh, you are visualizing the construction cases uh, mm -hmm. and, uh, for stakeholders. I think, uh, as I know, it is quite difficult to represent uh, the building uh, phase, you know, how much the building is built at the moment for mm -hmm. uh, uh, shareholders. Okay. Do you think that you're using uh, the engine or something like that uh, would help to uh, communicate? Uh, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it can be done. Actually, uh, it can be done. Yeah. Um, we visualize um, on a way. Uh, I don't know. I have another. Uh, I don't know uh, whether you want to see. Uh, but we have. I have a small video. We've we done some small videos where we can see. The surface and then time schedule, and and when when you are the stakeholder, the boss of the stakeholder is looking at this video, then they can say, okay, you have to go there, you have to go there. The different stakeholders at this part of day, so week number one, you have to work on this area. Week number five, you have to work on work on this area. So so it is possible, and we do it. Yeah, I think it also depends on like. What is your uh, uh, format, your, your media you want to deliver it? So for example, uh, uh, Esri has lots of tools to put these kind of things onto, onto, onto the web. So a very famous, simple thing is story maps. So there you, for example, you can create 3D models and then you say, okay, next phase, and then you create next phase, or the next 3D models, so these kind of things. And it's that stuff, uh, yeah, that you can create the floor, the ceiling, the whole display. So I think. How you communicate stuff is always kind of like depends on like like where you what's your audience. Like in your case, like you don't you probably don't make this public. It's 
Uh, actually, I have a, uh, can I show you the video we have actually uh, for the question you are asking for? Uh, well, we don't have the surface, but but uh, we have it here actually. We did it in Namaskot. Uh, here you can see uh, the piles are going on now. We have we have this uh, the area. Uh, the area is under the side cover, uh, and the building which is already built and the new construction is going on. Now you can see on the time, uh, which time is it, and then the work which has to be done at the moment. And if you if you play on it, okay, a week later, great, or, or some time later, you can see uh, where the next work is coming. Um, so city engine can be put it in. We haven't put city engine in here uh, in in things like Amish works. Uh, we did it in uh, But but where, here can you utilize uh, the, the the city engine. Uh, to to see the surface uh, and, and and see the surroundings uh, while going on uh, while the construction process is going on so it's so it's buildable yeah yeah sorry oh yeah <laughs> yeah I guess that the, the information is is, is down the the film model but convert to a IFC and get it into RTS yeah. and then visualize it uh, exactly. exactly yeah inside the, that's the, what I, with the Python or something like that. Yeah, and, and that's why we, we have on on library oh, so many libraries in program so yeah. you can just find the correct file and then we have a frame they need, uh, which type of uh, I don't know this bit they need and, and put it in in the in the model and then let it run. Uh, as in simulation and, and show uh, how it's working. And what the difficult is uh, now we're, we're talking into beef. The the, the the difficult we found in continuing was the terrain level it was like we found it like the the, the what's the variation of dilution of twenty centimeters or something, which was sense very much. Yeah, uh, where we did, where we did the construction actually. Sorry, uh, it wasn't next to me. So, but. But but uh, and that's that could be really uh, if, if it was if the variation was smaller it was better because for instance if it's like a curvy land and there is a terrain level of let's say one and a half meter and and then the the the, the hill is a little bit sloping we cannot get any big lorries with the elements going down down there it's, it's not possible then we have to Think something thing different, so so we can make the site affordable or for the entrepreneurs. So so that's that's all we use uh, city engine for instance. So the terrain is it's really good. It's it's, it's quite good. Yeah. Any more questions? Thank you.